In this first section, we're going to show how we define and configure the interface between Veristand and MX Suite. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will configure an engine control system that turns on a car engine, sets the engine speed to some value, holds the value, and then turns off the engine. Veristand abstracts all the IOs of different types. What we're showing on this demo on two inputs and two outputs could easily be transposed to a larger configuration. The custom device is the API mechanism that Veristan uses. The MX Suite custom device will make the MX Suite behave as a native task within Veristan. We will simply bring the MX Suite connector and configure it via the Veristan GUI. The engine control model has two inputs and two outputs. So we will add a consistent number of stimulus and response channels. We will then name the channels appropriately and map them to the relevant input and output ports. Very stand is now configured. In this second section, we're going to show how we create and configure an MX Suite project. First, we will create the MX Suite project. MX Transit is the mechanism that allows the connection between the MX Suite and the system under test. The list of available transforms appears on the left of the MX Transit configuration page. For our example, we select the NI Veristand transform. We will then configure the transform so that the properties of the ports match those of the system under test. Here we are showing how to change the RPM minimum and maximum values. Once satisfied with the signal properties, you may now export all the ports that you want to make available in the MX Suite Signal Dictionary. The MX Suite main control window will provide a notification that the transform has changed. The test harness is now complete and the selected signals are now available in the MX Suite Signal Dictionary and can be used in test cases. In this last section, we are going to show how we create and run a test case within the MX Suite. Under Project Explorer, click on Test Cases and select New Test Case. Here we are selecting the various stimulus and response signals to be included in the test case. Once the test case has been saved, both stimulus response will be populated on timing diagrams. In our example, there are two stimulus signals, command engine and desired RPM. We will simply change their value by editing the timing diagrams. Once satisfied with the input stimulus, you may save the test case. Note that the output signals, RPM and engine temp, are set to default value. These values represent the expected response of the system. We will leave the signals at their initial value in our test run. We will then create our test scenario. A test scenario is a collection of test cases. The user has the flexibility to run test cases in any order desired, sequential or parallel or any combination thereof. While any number of test cases can be run under a scenario, our example only has one test case. It's also a normal use case for MX Suite to run multiple scenarios sequentially in a regression suite. Let's now run the system. Click on the Run button. The test execution can be visualized on the timing diagrams and on the Veristand GUI. The scenario will run to completion, and once completed, the test will report a failure as the engine response differs from its expected value. MX Suite also has the ability to produce a formatted report, another powerful capability that can be integrated in your test process. This concludes our presentation.